I'm just like scatterbrained trying to rush and get everything together so I can hit record. And as soon as I sat down, my first instinct was, crap, I have to go grab my mask. Hey guys, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. I have a thrift haul to share with you today as well as some stuff that I've picked up from an antique mall, a yard sale, and then just Goodwill. Oh, and also online. So let's go ahead and get started. I've been putting this off for a while, so you may have seen some of this stuff in my fall home tour or on my Instagram stories. I've just been focused on other things, so I haven't gotten around to doing this haul. So I'll go ahead and start with the stuff I picked up at an antique mall. This was maybe in September. Um, I luckily live 10 minutes away from one of the biggest antique malls in the area, and I love it so much. It's one of my favorites, so I go there often. I normally only buy things that are on sale or priced really good. So there are a few booths that I like to grab things from because they have good prices. So I'll start with this rolling pin. I thought this was really cool. I'm not sure if this is actually vintage. It probably isn't, but I thought this would look good in my crock that I've put all of these in. And I believe this was five or six dollars. But I liked the unfinished wood and then the handles were really cool. It's just not your average looking rolling pin. So yeah, I thought that was neat. I grabbed another kitchen utensil. This was five dollars. I personally have no idea what this is used for. Um, has this, this little piece like rolls right here. Maybe cheese. But I liked the green handle. I thought that was neat. You might have seen this in my fall home tour. I had it on my kitchen shelves. So yeah, I just thought it was a cool piece. And for five bucks, they're normally a lot higher. And then I was hunting for some amber glass jars, just a few to incorporate into my fall decor. Um, I'm not a huge fan of dark amber glass, so I didn't want to go overboard. So I found these two little ones. These were from se uh, separate booths. This one was $2.95, and I believe this one was on sale because if it's in black writing, it's on sale. If it's red, it's not. But anyways, I just liked how small it was, and then this one was $3. On the side, it says Whitehall, so I'm not sure what was in here. It's still kind of dirty on the inside. But I thought these would look cute for my fall decor, um, and I did not have to spend too much money on them. And then I found the most adorable set of salt and pepper shakers. Look at this cute little silver tray. I've never seen this before, um, but I thought it was so cute. I love silver trays. I have a few scattered around the house, so I thought this was perfect. And they just sit in there like that. So cute. This was $5. Yes, $5. And then the salt and pepper shakers, I think this is called like a diamond pattern, if you could see. And then I like that the tops are kind of tarnished as well. I think most people would probably want to shine these up um, and use some like silver whites, but I like that tarnished look, so I'm going to leave them as is. And then really quickly, I'll show you the things that I got online. I actually ordered some wooden mashers off of Poshmark because she had all four of these pieces for $20. That's insane because one masher like this size would be $20 at an antique mall. So I got these two. I just really wanted some for my kitchen decor and I did not have any. And now if you watch my recent video, I have three in my collection now, but this one's a lot taller than this one. Then they have the little hooks at the top so you can hang them. And I think these are pretty popular right now, so that's probably why they're a lot higher at antique malls, but I think they're really cool. And then it came with these two pieces as well. Um, there's like this little scoop here with this really cool handle. I don't know what these would have been used for. And then this kind of spoon situation. It's like half spoon, half spatula, but it has this piece right here that you can hang. So I thought that was neat. So yeah, these are all just sitting in a, well, these are sitting in a little crock that I have. I thought that was a good deal. $20 for all four pieces and they're all vintage. So now I'll show you some stuff that I picked up at a yard sale. I was driving out of town um, to go pick up an online auction piece that I won. And on the way out, I saw this huge sign that said, yard sale like giant yard sale so of course i'm gonna go there i get there and it's this giant like warehouse type situation it, it was a house on a lot of land but you know where people store like boats and cars but they're huge warehouses so i walked in and it was nothing but vintage things so i did pay up a tad bit 
I paid more than I would normally want to pay at like a thrift store or something for most of these pieces. But I think I was just so overwhelmed and excited that I had found a vintage garage sale that I just, I bought things regardless of the price. So, I found this vintage spool, is that what this is called? Wood spool. It's wood here, then this piece is metal. I paid $5 for this, but I thought it was so cool. I'm thinking about, for Christmas time, maybe finding like a pretty ribbon or lace or something to wrap around it. I don't know, if you have any ideas of how I could style this for Christmas, let me know. See, I feel like most people would not want to pay $5, but for the size, I thought that wasn't bad. Some of the things, the prices have fallen off. I want to say this was under a dollar, like it was a quarter or something. But it's the, just a, it's just an old wooden sort of spatula type thing. And I just have this one for decor in my crock. Obviously, I'm not going to use this. But I thought it was a cool piece. I like how it's like discolored and just vintage looking. I found another flower frog. I have found a few of these since the summertime at some garage sales. This one is much bigger though. And I think they're normally way more than $3, which is what I paid for it, so I picked that up. I thought if anything, if I can't find a way to use it, I will maybe list it online, because there's no cracks or any flaws. But I did see someone put candy canes in this for Christmas, so I might do that. And also for Christmas, I don't know why this reminded me of Christmas, it's an old, it was 25 cents, the tag is falling off, but... It's an old scotch taped tin. I tried to look up what year this was, and I think it was the 80s. Um, and then it's also like rusted shut. We tried to open it and I didn't want to damage the outside so I'm just going to leave it as is because it sounds like the tape is still in there or it feels like the tape is still in there. Um, but yeah, just I guess the like pattern right here with the red and the green kind of reminds me of Christmas a little bit. So I might try to incorporate this in my Christmas decor somewhere. I really have Christmas on the brain since like September 1st so... That's where my mind is going right now. And then you may have seen this in my fall home tour as well. I have cinnamon in it right now. But I thought this was such a cool piece. It looks like something that would be at an old diner on the table or something. It was $3 and I just think it's so pretty. Like I said, I paid up a bit. $3 is kind of high. I probably would have wanted to pay one, but that's fine. And then the last piece from that yard sale was amazing. I did pay $10 for this but I felt that was fine. I do plan on keeping it for myself here at home um, instead of reselling it, but it is a jadeite mixing bowl. I imagine this went with some nesting mixing bowls um, because this is a smaller one. And they did have a larger one there, but it was, I think, 20. So I just grabbed the one that was 10. There are no markings on the bottom, so I'm not sure how vintage it is, but I really love jadeite. You should know that by now if you've watched any of my hauls. And it is in really good condition, no chips or cracks. So I just went ahead and paid $10 for it, and I don't regret it, so. So now I'll move on to the pieces that I found at Goodwill recently. I haven't been thrifting that much lately. Um, like I said, I have Christmas on the brain. I'm trying to plan a lot of Christmas content coming up next month, so my mind has been on that. I found this adorable tiny little dish. I'm not sure what this would be for because it is so tiny, but it was only 50 cents. It might have even been on sale. Um, like I said, it's been a while, so I don't remember. There's no marking on the bottom, but I just thought it was so cute. I actually put a tiny little pumpkin in it on my kitchen shelves. So I've been trying to collect a lot of little pieces like this for stacking and layering in the kitchen. So I grabbed this piece as well. It says Classic Oneida. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but it was 69 cents. Like I said, most likely on sale, or else I don't really know why I would just grab this. But um, I have been enjoying looking for little pieces like this for my kitchen decor. And then I grabbed this cute piece here. I think this is a cookie cutter or something like that. It did not have a price on it, but I think she charged me 99 cents for it. It says made in Italy underneath. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. And then I like that the handle is wood. There's no paint or it's just an unfinished handle. I thought that was cool. And then this is like metal. I am trying to go with a baking slash gingerbread theme in the kitchen area. So I thought this would be a fun little piece to throw on there. I also grabbed these with Christmas in mind just to add some height and different elements on the shelves. These were 79 cents a piece. There was a third one, so I probably should have gotten it. Um, but they're just like these little galvanized, maybe like cupcake 
risers like a cake stand but maybe it's only big enough for a cupcake i don't know but i thought they were cool i'm gonna try to mix in some galvanized and metal pieces like this in the christmas kitchen area what i have a book here from goodwill i do remember that this was on sale but it was originally 1.99 i think that's how much all their books are but is this color not so pretty it's like a it's coming off more green on camera but it's actually kind of like a muted dusty olive and I thought it was a really pretty color. It says soil mechanics and engineering practice. I just can't stop buying books. Then I found this really beautiful um, kind of mesh doily at Goodwill, which is the first time I've ever found a doily at Goodwill. It has some really pretty details. And yeah, I'm not sure how much it was. Probably 99 cents. But what's one more doily? To add to my collection, I have like a million. And then this piece isn't very farmhouse at all, but I thought it was so beautiful. I think it's a placemat. There was only one, but it's like cloth right here, and then this really pretty kind of like ruffled lace on the outside. I know the color's not beautiful. I'm obviously going to put this in my vintage dressing room somewhere because it's so pretty and it goes so well in there. But I just love the roses on there, the like peachy pink and yellow. There's even some blue flowers in there. This, I think this was 99 cents or $1.99. And last but not least, I did post a picture of this the day I found it on Instagram and I said should I get it or not because it was $9.99 and that's a little high. Um, and most of you said yes. I had already bought it so it doesn't matter. But it is this really gorgeous oil painting with this, I don't know if this is spring or, I think this is a spring scene. Hopefully I can get it in the frame so you can see it. But I think it is so pretty. Like I said, it was $9.99. It is signed by someone named Michael, I believe. Well, whoever Michael is, I think he did a great job. Like, move over Bob Ross. Michael's on the move. Why do I say things like this? Okay, guys, I think that's everything I have to share with you for today's video. Let me know down below what your favorite item is that I hauled in this video. I think mine is either the painting or the jadeite bowl. Either one. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!